member for Alatau. Thank you, uh, Assistant Speaker. Okay, look so well, all people of Alatau. Uh, Assistant Speaker, this being my uh, first opportunity to take the floor, I want to also uh, congratulate you. And importantly, to thank my people of Alatau for giving me the trust and confidence to represent them here on this floor. Let me also congratulate the Prime Minister, our good ministers, the opposition leader, and all the members of parliament. Assistant Speaker, my question without notice is to the uh, Minister for Oil Palm. I want to congratulate him as well and uh, the Prime Minister for recognizing this important industry and sector. I'd like the uh, Minister for Agriculture and hopefully the Minister for Labor to take note. Assistant Speaker, the oil palm industry is a major agriculture industry in this country. And 83% of our oil palm is operated by uh, Sim Dabi through New Britain Palm Oil. And they've been here in the country for the last 50 years. So at this juncture, I want to also thank the uh, company and our industry players, especially in the agriculture sector, for their contribution to our nation building. However, Mr. Assistant Speaker, there are a few issues that uh, fall under the radar that I'd like to highlight. Number one, Assistant Speaker, is with regards to the minimum wage determination that we have set under Clause 6 that has exempted the agriculture companies and that has denied our people who work in the industry to participate in the minimum wage. In 2014, the minimum wage under Clause 6 was set at three and a fifty per hour. That was to be reviewed after three years. Unfortunately, we have taken a blind eye on this and we have not adjusted that rate. The Prime Minister, in his words, wants to drive the agriculture industry. And so we need to motivate and incentivize the people who make this industry work. My question to the Minister, can the Minister immediately do a review on Clause 6 and remove Honorable Clause member, 6? Honourable uh, Member, which uh, Minister are you asking? Minister for Oil Palm. Oil Palm, okay, go ahead. Can the Minister, in consultation with the Labour Minister, review Clause 6 on the minimum wage determination? Secondly, Mr. Speaker, the oil palm industry under the Oil Palm Industry Corporation has been an extension service provider since its inception in 90, 1990 without any regulatory powers to regulate the industry here in Papua New Guinea. It has been years foreign milling companies have become regulators in the industry leaving the OPIC, which is a government body, left out of the picture. The industry does not have any legal regulatory powers to regulate and manage the industry and its operations. The industry needs an urgent legal policy framework to govern its operations. Can the minister assure this house as to when he has plans to bring the OPIC Authority Bill and the Oil Palm Management Bill to this House for endorsement in the near future. Thank you, Mr. Assistant Speaker. Honorable Minister for Oil Palm. Uh, thank you, Assistant Speaker. Thank you, uh, Honorable Member for Alatau, for this very important question. Uh, in regard to the industry, it's important to this country. But prior to me answering the question, I'd like to thank the Prime Minister for appointing me to be the oil palm minister. And again, I, I also want to thank my people of Nakanai voting me in for the second time to this honorable house. 
the question by uh, the Honorable Member for Alatau, I think it's appropriate at this point in time as we see the industry itself is a, it's a very old industry. It's been here for 40, 50 years. And as we all know, the industry, uh, it, it, the legislation that covers the industry is only an extension service uh, uh, legislation. So that is why I, I thank the Prime Minister and this government, the Marape Rosso government, for taking this opportunity to, to start looking at this very important industry. So as it is today, WellPam is taken, has taken priority to improve the economy uh, the way forward. But at the same time, in order to, to prosper, we really have to see uh, to the legislation, the policy, and the regulation. I commend the member because that is exactly the, the mission that we're doing today. And we're working on, I'm working on the 100-day plan, which includes the, um, the legislation to industries, which, uh, which will, which, which will uh, involve the, uh, the uh, industry players, so as our government, uh, important uh, institutions, to make sure that uh, we come up with a new legislation covering the industry, the new policy, so as the, uh, uh, the new regulatory framework that will help to drive the industry. Uh, most importantly, I want to appeal to the people of Papua New Guinea in regard to this very industry. We know that uh, the future of our country will depend on how the government is really having to prioritize the industry. Uh, as we know, there's so much of a climate change, so I, uh, global warming impacts, and that has been driving the suppression of this industry in our country and most importantly in other countries as well. But uh, in our country, as we're going to see to the future of industry, we're going to develop in the grassland, not the, to do more of the deforestation. And, and again, we have to comply to the global warming and the climate change effects as a policy in our country as well. In order to do, we will have to attend to the global market uh, in regard to this very important industry and the future of our economy. Uh, but otherwise, uh, the question uh, asked by the Honorable Member for Alatau, it is appropriate at this time, but uh, I need your support and all other governors and members in this house uh, to come together and for, for, for us to, to drive this very important industry forward. We will have to do more of consultation. The uh, legislation is now uh, up way, uh, so is the policy and the, uh, legislation, uh, the uh, regulation. So it will be a, it will be a more uh, brand new uh, legislation and regulation as we're going to see driving this uh, uh, industry forward. I, I need support from all of you members in this house, honorable house, as to how we're going to drive this very important industry in our country. Thank you, assistant speaker. Honorable um, member for.